in this last video, I want to show you guys how to use the Weebly app to um, update your web page, which this is probably the easiest way to do that. Uh, so the two ways you can update your web page is through the website on your computer or this app right here. And both have their pros and cons from the computer. Um, if you have all your files, videos, pictures saved to your computer, then it makes sense to update from your computer. But if you're using your iPad uh, and you're taking pictures on the go in your class and you want to update them instantly to your web page, or you have um, your notes from class that you took on your iPad, you want to put those on your web page, um, the app is by far the easiest to do. You could be walking around your classroom and you could update your notes, you could put new pictures on, you could add your assignment really quick. So the Weebly app is free. When you get logged in, you'll have to put in your um, username and password, and then you can choose your site. So I, I have multiple sites. You guys would just have the one if you have one web page. Um, but let's go to my site here, and when you log in, you can notice that on the top left, you're going to have a menu button. And that menu button will give you a couple things. One of the, the neatest tools is it has the stats. So I can see over the period of time how many people have been to my site. So the first is a week I've had four people. Since this is a new one, I have nobody come to my site. But the last year I've had 35 people view it. For you, it's going to be different if your site is required for your students. So you might have up to thousands of people, but it's just a good gauge of how many people are accessing your site. So it's pretty simple. Um, you can see I have a couple pictures here. And this is my home tab, as you can see. If I want to go edit my English 5 tab, just click on English 5, and it'll take you to that page. Let's go back to my home page, and let's edit something. So let's say I don't want my um, tab right there to be home. I want to change it to something else, my title. All you have to do is hit Edit. On Edit, you'll see the same building blocks as the computer version of it. It almost has all of them um, as a computer, but it doesn't. You can see this is the building page, building blocks. You also have your pages tab where you can add or reorder. You've got your design where you can change the theme or fonts. So under the building, let's say um, I want to change my home, what it says. All you have to do is hit edit. And let's just call this the pictures tab if you wanted to. Okay, so now that's done. Um, you can also, you know, underline it, make it bigger, smaller. You can change the alignment. All that stuff is right there. So now let's let's take a couple more pictures. So we're in class. I want to document student work. So I'll go to your edit. You could do a gallery. You could do a slideshow. But I'm just gonna do the image. And I'm gonna drop it down right here. You can see that will take up half the page. If I move it over, the blue line will take up the full page. I want just a smaller picture. You can choose one that you've already taken, or you can just take a photo. So let's take it up the outside, other side of my office. Snap your picture, hit done, and now you have it right there, instantly on your web page. Now, if I want to add a caption to it, just click on it, hit edit, and you can do a couple things. You can do your caption, and you can just say office. And now you have your little caption underneath of it. Let's do another picture. Just go to edit, image, drop it down. I want it underneath the top one. Let's take a photo. Let's take a photo of my computer here. Hit done. There you go. You can see how fast this is, how easy it would be in your classroom to update your website. Now, other than that, um, under your edit button, let's say I want to add a assignment. So let's go to my English 5 page. All right, so February 12th, I had an assignment. Well, let's do February 13th. Let me just drag over some text here. And we'll say Feb 13. Now I can just start typing away on what your assignment is. Um, when you're done, you got it saved right there. Um, what else could I add? You could add um, 
a map, a slideshow, a YouTube video, an HD video that might be an upgraded version, but you can add a file so from something you have on your web page, or um, you just have a bunch of options here, same as your computer version you would. Pages, let's say I want to change something about my English 5 page. You can change the name there, you can do the, the layout, what you want your header to be. You can do, um, if you want this page hidden from your menu, and so then you get all your content done, you hit publish, and now your site is good to go. And to see what it looks like, you can click on that link under your site has been published, and that'll take you to the live version of your web page. And so if I go to my home tab, you can see where pictures has been changed. There's my pictures that I up, updated or my English 5 tab you can see my new assignment right there and everything is done on the go quickly without a hassle so that is how you use your Weebly app to update content on your web page